Happy Halloween on MTV. I'm the real Julie Brown. I have to take my wings off for this next bit. When I saw Penn and Teller in the dressing room, I was so amazed. I mean, these guys really know how to celebrate Halloween. I mean, the costumes. <laughs> well, you're just going to have to see them to believe them. Here they come now, Penn and Teller. Hi, my name is Penn Gillette. This is my partner, Teller. And we're here to teach you a mean-spirited Penn and Teller Halloween prank you can play on those you claim to love. <laughs> Pretty good, Julie, huh? I got you nailed. Joe Piscopo, eat your heart out. Sure you do Sinatra, sure you do Jerry Lewis, but Joe, you're living in the past, babe. Julie Brown is today. Julie Brown is where it's at. Totally, totally, that's pretty good, huh? <laughs> but in all honesty, I'm a human being, a man. But like other men, I have a feminine side. Halloween gives me a chance to give expression to the woman within me. Last year I did Madonna, the year before Sally Ride, Actually, I should stop bragging about how good this looks when most of the credit goes to my partner, Teller. He designed the prosthetics, all the little rubber pieces that go here to give me that distinctive Julie Brown mouth and the very distinctive Julie Brown. Ooh, these are fun. <laughs> Teller molded these from sculptures he made himself from still photos. Fortunately, I had some input too. But hey, we're not here to talk about costumes. Let's face it, anybody can walk into a Woolworths, put down a couple of bucks, and get a flame retardant Hulk Hogan mask, right? We're here to talk about the good stuff, the tricks. You know, the real, you know it's really hard to scare people in a day when truly frightening stuff like a multi-picture deal for Shelley Long is a reality. But we have a way to scare people inside out using just some pancake syrup, some red food coloring, an apple, and a small child. While you're figuring out where you're going to get this stuff. <laughs> I almost lost it there. <laughs> oh. Okay, while you're figuring out where you're going to get this stuff, here's a video. My hair okay? Oh. Welcome back. We're still Penn and Teller. Don't I make a bitch in Julie Brown? For sure, totally. <laughs> I'm really good at it. Much better than Teller's China Kantner, huh? <laughs> okay. Imagine you're Little Teller's mom and dad, all right? I'm bringing Little Teller home for trick-or-treating. So did you have a good night trick-or-treating? And did you get a lot of our sponsor's products for treats? What did the crabby old lady down the street give you? <gasps> Gee, mom and dad, isn't that great? A natural, delicious apple. <laughs> one from your own home, bore a hole in it with an apple corer, fill the hole almost all the way with pancake syrup, all right, then a generous shot of red food coloring. Okay, now seal the hole with a piece of the plug you cut out from the apple. Now, get yourself a little kid, a younger brother, sister, or neighbor will do. Make sure he's a good screamer. Offer to take him out trick-or-treating. Explain the trick as you go from door to door. When you get home, let mom and dad see him take an apple from the bag of their booty. Make sure your little friend bites into the apple before mom and dad have a chance to stop them. Their little teeth hit the red food coloring, a blood-curdling scream escapes from their throats, and the folks hit the ceiling. And perhaps, most importantly, the young child is now prepared for a life of evil pranks. <gasps> you know, a perfect gift for a kid like that would be a pair of tickets to our Broadway run. What do you think, Julie? Great idea, Penn. You know, I've seen these guys over 400 times. So I'm, I'm kind of a groupie. And I have to say that their limited run at the Ritz Theater on Broadway from November 24th through January 3rd, it's the event of this season. Anything else you want to plug? Only if you've got a modem. Dial 212-764-3834. Hit two returns and the word mofo. We're Penn and Teller. See you on Broadway. Happy haunting.